Hi everybody and thank you for joining me in this new video presentation. For those who are joining for the first time to my YouTube channel, my name is Arash Arya, Senior Consultant and Associate Professor of Cardiology and Director of AP Labs at Leipzig Heart Center. In my YouTube channel, I present regularly case presentations and short videos regarding interesting topics in cardiology and electrophysiology. In this video, I will introduce a young woman with frequent polymorphic PVC and an interesting diagnosis. I hope you will enjoy it and join me in my future video presentations. Thank you. Our patient is a 34-year-old woman with frequent therapy refractory PVCs with a PVC burden over 24,000 per day who was referred for RF ablation to our center. She had no history of syncope or presyncope and in MRI the left ventricular ejection fraction was 45%. This is the baseline ECG, a summary of the baseline ECGs of the patient during HIPIA study before catheter ablation. Here we see the five different morphologies on the left side, three PVCs from the right ventricle. The first one starting from the left, from RVOT close to the pulmonary valve. The second and the third morphology, also right ventricular origin, very close to the tricuspid annulus. On the right side, we see two further PVC morphologies from left ventricle. Here we see the typical finding in a patient with mitral annular disjunction. As you can see in this point during the end systole, we can see the disjunction of the lateral wall and mitral annulus. On the right side, we see an interesting article published in Jack about the mitral annulus disjunction arrhythmic syndrome. The authors included 116 patients with MAD with a mean age of 49 years and 60% of the patients were female. Palpitation was the most most common symptom, severe arrhythmic events occurred in 12% of the patients and patients with severe arrhythmic events were younger, had lower ejection fraction and had more frequent papillary muscle fibrosis. Mitral valve prolapse was observed in 78% of the patients and was not associated with ventricular arrhythmia. So this is a central illustration of the manuscript, which again shows that ventricular arrhythmias occurs frequently in patients with mitral annulus disjunction. As we said, mitral valve prolapse is not associated with arrhythmic events, and this indicates that mitral annular disjunction itself is an arrhythmogenic entity. MAD usually is detected around the large part of the mitral annulus. However, it can be interspersed with normal tissue. At this point, I would like to go back to the baseline ECG of the patient. We discussed about mitral annulus disjunction. So when we look at the diagnosis, we expect the PVCs to originate from mitral annulus close to the mitral valve or maybe from the papillary muscle in case of papillary muscle fibrosis. But when we look at the ECG of our patient, we see see one PVC from RVOT close to the pulmonary artery, two further PVCs from right ventricle close to the tricuspid valve, and two further PVCs from the left ventricle. And this shows that most probably mitral annulus disjunction, arrhythmic syndrome, is not an isolated entity which involves the mitral valve, but it's a generalized condition involving the connective tissue and muscular tissue and the connection between these two type of tissue in all the parts of the heart. And this makes our patient an interesting example of mitral annulus disjunction with ventricular arrhythmia originating close to the other heart valves. So in the baseline characteristics of the patient, we have two characteristics which puts her in high risk group for sudden cardiac death and severe ventricular arrhythmia. In the study that we already mentioned, the mean age of patients with severe ventricular arrhythmia was 37 compared to 51 in patients without severe ventricular arrhythmia. And as you can see in MRI, we had LV dysfunction, which also it was one of the discriminating factor between patients with and without severe ventricular arrhythmia. I hope you enjoyed this short video presentation. I would like to invite you joining me in my future video presentations. If you are new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.